I'm Gabe Filippelli. I'm a professor of earth sciences at IUPUI, and I study uh, climate change and climate change impacts. The polar vortex is really the, the term for the polar uh, jet, which is a band of wind that um, uh, circles around, around the North Pole and the South Pole. And in effect, it circles almost from the top to bottom. So from the ground all the way up uh, to the high atmosphere, it makes sort of an atmospheric wall. One of, the, one of the oddities about the polar vortex that we've been observing over the last decade, frankly, is it's, it's doing odd things in the wintertime. In some years, it's starting to zip down, kind of bend its way, ooze its way down uh, to, uh, in some cases, right over North America, uh, going actually far south of Indiana. So bringing this cold uh, Arctic air that's supposed to stay in the Arctic, but bringing it instead to us, it might make you think, oh, there's no climate change. It's really cold here this winter. But in fact, uh, the this decay of the polar vortex stability is exactly consistent with climate change. You're war we're warming the Arctic Ocean up so much, uh, so quickly, that it no longer has that kind of self-consistent stability. So the polar vortex is no longer nearly as stable as it used to be. That's been most obvious when you, you even look at some some uh, temperature records. And uh, one of the last times this happened was just a couple of years ago. And at that point, Anchorage, Alaska had a 40 uh, degree warmer temperature than Indianapolis, Indiana. We've already seen it. It's splitting already this, this winter. So uh, in answer to the question of likelihood, it's likely that we will see a polar vortex cold uh, event here in Indiana. Um, it's not guaranteed, but it is likely.